All three GPU vendors now support ray tracing, and all three have a solution to improve frame rates when RT blasts them into single digits. DLSS is the original. It came out in 2019, and common wisdom says it's the best. Downside is you need an expensive RTX card to use it. RIP EVGA GPUs. FSR is AMD's open source answer. It came out in 2021 and runs on any GPU you want, even integrated ones. The downside is that it incurs a higher performance penalty than DLSS. It's also baked directly into the OS of the Steam Deck, which is really cool. And finally, XESS is the newcomer. It's Intel's answer to DLSS, and it seems to work in largely the same way, in that it uses special cores on the GPU itself to accelerate machine learning to increase frame rates. Intel Arc is significantly cheaper than an RTX card like a 3060. This could be seen as the, you know, good value solution. To give this as full and complete a breakdown as I can, I've collected a list of games which support all three, and I'm going to be recording them in the highest quality that I can, and then pixel peeping to see which I think is the best. I've got two categories to judge, performance gain and image quality. Performance gain is, you know, easy to measure. I just run the same scene on all three technologies and see which one increases the performance by the most. Image quality is much more subjective, much more difficult to measure, so you'll just have to take my word for it. The GPUs I'm going to be using for this are an RTX 2060 and, obviously, an ARC A750. Why aren't I also using an AMD GPU? Well, in my own testing, I found Nvidia cards run FSR just as well as AMD ones, and this simplifies testing significantly. I also didn't want to influence the result by including a monster Nvidia card like a 3080 or a 4080, which would dominate the ARC in performance. All of these games will be running at 1080 with the upscalers in performance mode, which halves the rendered resolution down to 960 by 540. Let's just get this out of the way. The TAA, temporal anti-aliasing, in Hogwarts Legacy is hideous. The native image ghosts everywhere and leaves horrible obvious trails on both high and low contrast areas. And you can't turn it off. So it's TAA or upscaling. So let's start with FSR. Image quality here isn't great. It's not ugly like TAA, but fine detail is lost in the typical FSR fizzling. The Hippogriff's wings show pretty obvious ghosting, and worst of all, the stars in the telescope puzzle leave some strange trails all over. I noticed this on my Steam Deck first, which is why I went and tested the telescope puzzle with every upscaler to see if the issue exists on those two. Unfortunately for FSR, DLSS and XESS both display the stars correctly. They also improve the artifacts around the wings, but neither one eliminates them. Weirdly enough, they look so similar, you could tell me XESS was DLSS and I'd believe you. Did Intel poach any NVIDIA engineers by chance? One strange thing I noticed is that DLSS and XESS both seem to add motion blur back in. I definitely turned it off in the settings. So, could be a bug? Could be a feature? No idea. The objective improvements in this game are wild. FSR increased performance by a massive 91%, though the starting point for the 2060 was an unplayable 22 FPS. 42 is certainly nicer on the eyes. DLSS showed a similarly enormous jump in performance, with over double the frame rate at a 105% improvement. I'm not quite sure how that's possible. Maybe something other than the 3D performance was limiting the game on this old GPU? VRAM perhaps? It does only have 6 gigs, while the ARC has 8. XESS didn't jump the performance quite as high, quote unquote only, going up by 89%. This game is just extremely well suited to image upscaling apparently, and the TAA is so ugly that even if you're getting high frame rates you should turn on one of the upscalers just for the anti-aliasing benefits. What would you get if a Japanese dev made Far Cry 3? Ghostwire Tokyo of course! Making fantastic use of RT reflections, this game looks gorgeous. Starting with FSR again, when I look at screenshots I see some stair-stepping on some of the attack effects, with some muddiness in fine details of the buildings. DLSS also suffers from the loss of detail, where XESS doesn't. I think XESS is the winner here for image quality, clearly better than DLSS and FSR. Upscaling gains in Ghostwire Tokyo aren't nearly as high as Hogwarts. DLSS is first again, but XESS puts up a good fight, beating FSR's improvement handily. The game plays really nicely on ARC, fewer stutters than Nvidia, as you can see in the frame time graph. 
Hitman behaves strangely. I chose the Dartmoor benchmark because it has a lot of particles, but I couldn't find a single ghosted image in any of the footage. What I did find was heavy stair stepping on straight lines. FSR handles this better than the others, with XESS turning it into a jagged saw blade, and DLSS making it all wavy or exaggerating the steps. Maybe it's so bad the algorithm sees it as a deliberate design rather than unintentional aliasing. Definitely a win for FSR. DLSS and FSR show similar improvements to one another, getting the game up into the 70 FPS range, higher than the much more powerful Arc, even with XESS on. This might be Intel's famous driver issues rearing their ugly head again. I thought using exclusively DX12 titles would avoid this, but I guess not. Well there you have it, we've got a tie for one game, a clear XESS win for the second, and an FSR win for the third, which makes it a three horse race still. It really does feel like it's not the technology that is the limiting factor, rather how the developers actually integrate it. Objectively, there's no getting around the fact that Nvidia had a two and a half year head start. It improved performance the most in all three of the games, even if sometimes the image quality wasn't all there. What's my conclusion? Well, all three of the games I showed today are fantastic, so take whatever GPU you have now and rescue a dragon egg, shoot some demons with your finger guns, or speedrun a level faster than I can say this sentence. I'll see you next time.